Hello everyone, welcome back to our scenes. Today we are going to learn how to draw ray diagrams for concave lens. Before getting started, let me remind you to subscribe to my channel. That is if you have not yet subscribed and share my videos with your fellow mates. So let's get started. So in concave lens, we have got only two illustrations. Once when the object is at infinity and the second case when the object is between infinity and O. So before moving forward, let us learn how to draw the basic skeleton of concave lens. So to draw the basic skeleton of concave lens, it's almost the same as what we have done for convex lens. What we need to do is we need to draw a 15 centimeter line, mark the midpoint, midpoint is 7.8, half centimeter on this side, half centimeter on this side. So this is going to be O. From the first point, I'm going to mark 6 centimeters over here. Name it as 2F2. Then from the second point after, that is the point after O, I'm going to mark 6 centimeters on this side and name it as 2F1. Then the distance between this and the first point see this point and the first the first two points is 5 centimeter I'm going to mark the midpoint of that and name it as F1 same goes for the last two points see 5 centimeter gap I'm going to mark it and I'm going to name it as F2 and then with the compass See what points I'm going to join. This is the only thing different between concave lens and convex lens. So here in convex lens we have joined F2 with the first point right before O. So here it is not we have to join the second point. So I'm going to draw a curvature as big as you want. And then from 2F1 again, I'm going to mark a curvature here at this point, the point before O. And then I'm going to join this on this side as well as on this side. I'm going to rub the extra part. Okay, so here I have darkened the part. So let's get started with the illustration. So my first illustration is when the object is at infinity, my image is supposed to be at F1. So when the object is at infinity, we need to show both the rays of light running parallel to principal axis. So here comes my one ray of light. And here comes my another ray of light. Okay, so I know this is a diverging lens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this point and my F and I'm going to show dotted lines over here and then from this side I'm going to show that it's passing clearly. Same goes for the second ray of light. I'm going to show dotted lines over here for this one and then this so it looks as if it is coming from f this is a diverging ray of light this is what we are tracing back so hence our image is going to be formed at f1 it's going to be point size and virtual and erect so highly diminished okay so for my second illustration and my object is anyway between infinity and O, between infinity and O anyway, so I am going to draw a 1.5 centimeter long object. I am going to name it as AB. I have drawn it beyond 12, 1. 
so as usual you know that one ray of light always travels parallel to the principal axis as done in the lens diagram and i know that later on it's going to pass through f or else it will be you know uh, it looks as if it is coming from f so i have shown that here the second ray of light if you remember i have told you that it passes through optic center for the lens right so same thing here is going to pass through o without any deviation so you can see here this ray of light and this ray of light is crossing somewhere here so i'm going to draw a line here this is going to be my image a dash b dash see here my image is formed between f1 and o it has formed between f1 and o and as you can see the size is very much diminished this is my object and this little one is my image <clears throat> other than that you can see that it's standing on the line hence it is virtual and erect so that's it about your concave lens ray diagrams if you have any further doubt if you want to say anything in peculiar you can mention in the comment box and i'll definitely respond to you thank you